and I don't have to just look at one database because with AI, I can look through TDC database and global sources database and Alibaba database and the customs database in a few seconds and say, okay, because now these were all advertisers on these platform, but I also can look at the customs data and say, this is, this makes sense. This is already done this kind of work. I can say, okay, this supplier is suitable. These four or five suppliers are suitable. So that task that took 60 man hours is done by this in a few seconds. The other thing you do is, oh, you found these four supplier suppliers. Now you send out RFQs. Most of the people don't know what an RFQ is. And most of the small, medium sized companies don't even have an RFQ process in place. An RFQ is a request for quotation. So you have to format it, you have to template it, you have to do it properly so that it, it makes sense when the responses come. Spend a lot of time. So you can template this and we will, the AI will template for you based on what your SKU is. So if your SKU is a bottle, it's a different one. It's a furniture, it's a different one. It's an apparel, it's a different one, but it will format it for your requirement. And send it out on your behalf through your mailbox. It's connected through, it's a SaaS, so it's connected through your mailbox. It goes, does all the work. When the responses come again, you could be spending 30, 40 man hours collating all that information. This will collate that also for you. Then it is, <coughs> calculating landed costs. Okay, you you found a manufacturer in Vietnam or in China and you want to manufacture in, uh, you want to ship it to Atlanta and you don't know what the landed cost is, what is the Trump duties on that, what is the duties on that and all that stuff. So you, you are confused, what is it? It's costing me $1, but the landed cost is going to be 1.8. You don't know if that is 1.8 or 2.8, whatever. But the AI can tell you very quickly because the AI can pull data from different places. That's what the other stuff you can do. And then there are many other such mundane tasks that the merchandiser does in the industry that we will be able to do for them with the AI. And that's where the industry, sourcing industry is going to move into. We are doing this part of it. There'll be other people that will be doing the logistics part of it. There'll be people that will be doing uh, the design part of it. There are, I, I already talked to a lot of uh, people who are doing like, uh, uh, prototyping and they're doing different works, different parts of the sourcing supply chain, which they're able to do and cut out uh, time using AI. And that's where the future is going to go into uh, the way I see it. 